Today we're going to be creating a box for curing resin prints. So for that we're going to be needing some UV LEDs to be curing the resin, power supply for those LEDs, a small turntable to turn, some reflective foil, so I've got aluminium kitchen foil, spray adhesive, a box, probably some hot glue because what project doesn't use hot glue? The hot glue. And then just something to clean out the box. I've got isopropyl alcohol, water and soapy water would do, but this was literally a foot away, so I'm using this. And lastly, potentially a drill and some drill bits to put the connector in or something like that. Gonna be honest, not a whole load of planning went into this. Got some bits, should be able to make some sensible looking box out of it. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a fully featured custom PCB prototyping service, including PCB design, standard PCB manufacture, assembly, and SMD stencils. Their PCB specification selection template online allows you to quickly get quotes for and order your PCBs in under a couple of minutes. If you're new to PCB manufacture like I was, then you'll also be glad to hear that they have great customer support and every design that gets uploaded gets checked before manufacture. So for all of your PCB manufacturing requirements, head over to PCBWay.com. I'm going to be using PCBWay in one of my upcoming projects where I build a 3D printer control board. So make sure you hit subscribe to get notified when that video arrives. First things first, we're just gonna use the isopropyl to clean out the box. Oh, I need the lid. I'll go get the lid. Oh, it's right here. So the plan is either, do we have, this is the base, and then this is the box that goes over the top, but then the cable is going to be connected to this anyway, so I guess we probably would put that that way, that in the bottom, and this on top. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, right, so let's have a go at this. So, despite the fact that we got an awful smell, this does seem to be working rather well. It looks exactly how I thought it would. An absolute mess. So the next thing we need to do is find a way to attach the lights. Obviously a fairly major component of a UV curing box. <laughs> So that's it from me today on this very quick and easy DIY LED UV curing box for resins for DLP and SLA printers. 
If you want to see more from me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more behind the scenes and chatting and stuff like that. I will leave links to as much stuff as I can in the description below in case you want to buy these things to do something similar for your setup. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.